Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode of Legends. Today we're going back to the basics using one of my favorite old school decks. We're playing Token Crusader. But not just any Token Crusader. Um, we're playing Willpower Dominant Crusader. That means we are going to see a lot of synergies and a lot of uh, creature boosts. Based on that, the only uh, cards that are Crusader are, I think, uh, it's Crusader's Assault and Rift Thane. Here it is in our starting hand. Um, I have forgotten about this deck for a long time, playing all sorts of uh, new stuff and uh, overly complicated stuff. This deck is so simple, so easy to use, and it's, um, I must say, it's quite aggressive. I don't have, uh, actually, there aren't any uh, charge creatures in it, but the sheer, the sheer amount of, um, of tokens and uh, boosts that it can receive are incredible and hopefully we're about to see some of um, some of its shenanigans bit lion yeah that, that's what happens when you're playing against Ilvani expecting a lot of disable early on I think I should revisit um, the deck. I think I'll just uh, remove the Clovis Illusionist because um, it's kind of pointless. And instead, I think we should be focusing on something more aggressive. Or at least some removal. Currently this deck has no removal at all. And that might come back and bite us in the bum. But fear not. We already have crazy amount of, uh, of damage on the board. As you can see we have 8, now 12. We're going to kill that off. It's not in our best interest to trade, but the Crusader's Assault is always welcome to, to draw us more cards. Now, we have some options to... We have like uh, Cassius, but... Let's draw a card. We're not playing the Pit Lion yet. I'm expecting some some shouts or some uh, removal. Necromancer's amulet and giant bat. Okay, so he will be gaining two extra magicka, which means if he uses the ring, he will be able to summon another creature. My fair guess. Oh no, it's the Daggerfall Mage. Uh, I wanted to 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 say that maybe another giant bat was coming, but let's use Imprison. Uh, actually, yeah, I was mistaking. We have Imprison in in uh, in our deck, but Imprison is only helpful when we have at least four uh, creatures on the board. Otherwise, it's just a shackle effect. We have five Magicka. We've lost no creatures. Going with the Pit Lion and, uh, and Cassius. Um, could 
cool plot effect. Summon two creatures and gain plus one HP for uh, for as many creatures you have in that lane. Drain vitality. Sure. But now... I think it's fair to say... We'd like to boost all the creatures in our field lane. And let's play... Dawnbreaker. There would have been an option to play the Huffingham Marauder, but we would be boosting only a couple of creatures and uh, not so much runes to break or not so much uh, damage to, to press on and break the runes. So we have more than lethal. Look, it's a giant bat. Sure. Yep. See? This is the token crusader. Beating Tilvani to a pulp. <laughs> First match was awesome. Let's see if uh, if we fare nicely into our second match. Playing against Dagath. I think we're we're taking turns here. Uh, Crassius favor. Um, ooh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention we've got um, Conjurer Spirit. Whenever we gain some HP, we're going to summon a Spirit Wolf of two two. Crusader's Assault. Um, I think it's fair to say we're going to play the 5th Legion Trainer. No doubt about that. It'll boost um, the creatures uh, summoned by uh, Crassius' favor whenever we will choose to do so. Uh, by no means this deck is uh, extremely good considering the mass removals such as Ice Storm and Drain Vitality played by Scouts and um, uh, Tilvani decks and uh, Dagath. It's fair to say that um, I'm expecting, expecting at some point to, to encounter such difficulties. But it also depends on our sheer luck. Actually, our luck for our opponent to to not draw these cards, as we've seen in the previous match, only one Drain Vitality Shout was played, and we managed to defeat uh, that deck, even though he had like Brynjolf and uh, Giant Bat summoned, resummoned by the Necromancer, and it was still. It was still um, useless. All that effort was useless because of the the high amount of uh, of creatures spammed on the board by various actions and boosted by various means. Interesting. We don't want to give um, to give him the ability to draw some cards, so we'll just um, slay that cut purse. Even though we're going to grab only one card, let's play uh, Crassius' favor. There it is. Hi, Wolfie. Hopefully you'll help us in solving this issue. That is, defeating this Dagath deck. It's a small wolf, but in time it will grow big, nice, strong and shiny.
What is our opponent thinking? What's he going to put on the board? He has four available magic and nothing. Nothing. Interesting. So let's play the, the Broma Poffert here. And on our next turn, I think we can uh, easily imprison and destroy that 4-6 of his. Uh, due to the constant healing by Gracious Favor and Burma Profiteer, we're keeping a, a steady line uh, on the HP. Ooh, yeah, cool. I sent some uh, some some issues over at the Harry Potter developers, and uh, looks nice nice of them for, for uh, to reply. Hopefully they'll fix them also. Grand ball. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> Not so screwed after all. So we only have two creatures that were destroyed. Our opponent drew a card. And a shadow shift. Because he's planning on destroying our Ulfric's house car. I'm sure of it. However, most unfortunate for him. Um, there could have been... Um, There could have been uh, the the idea to to hold back on the imprisonment and uh, keep it. I don't know for hand of daggers or any other weird creature. Um, so we have the option to either Crassius Favor or Rift Thane. But uh, the field lane is kind of busy with that uh, lethal sanctuary path. He drew a card because of the... Okay, so House Carl goes bye-bye. Because of the effect on the 4-3, whenever it gains cover, it draws a card. The extra nice thing is we can play Divine Feather, but that won't help us very much. I think. It'll only boost us uh, with 4 damage. Which is enough to take our opponent down. He's down to 4 HP. Uh, he's going to have 8-9 Magicka. And he's overdrawing. And we have a concession. <laughs> awesome. And we're back. Took a, a quick break to grab something to eat. Um, I've just seen, because uh, after the last match I quickly dismissed uh, the game, I actually noticed that after our last encounter we reached rank 1. There it is! <laughs> so now we're in The Thief. Imprison Priest of the Eight and Fifth Legion Trainer. Don't in imprison and we get imprisoned back. Screw you! <laughs> now, you see, this is my luck. This is my, my luck alone. Due to this luck, we've lost <laughs> in the Master Series. Again. 
I had um, I had a uh, match. Actually, the, the uh, uh, all three matches I lost three to zero. First match I was playing warrior, and I've got I don't know like five or six creatures out of fifty fifty uh, deck list with um, with five or uh, five or more uh, magicka cost. First draw I get a four cost, a five cost, and a five cost. I redraw and I get all three cards, five cost. Like, that is the most annoying stuff ever. What are the odds? I know, because I've done, um, I've finished, uh, I've finished, uh, computer science and I've been, um, a keen admirer of statistics. So bas basically, it goes like this. Um, given a coin with uh, two faces nice given a coin with two faces if you flip the coin there is a 50 chance 50 percent chance for each of the uh, faces to 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 drop that's the theory now the the practicality kills us because go to face because as being practical you can toss that coin an infinite number of times and get the same face over and over again so statistically speaking there was like I don't know 10% chance to get actually even lower 3% chance to get um, my starting hand filled with five or six cost creatures and it happened <laughs> not once but twice and on my uh, third match I chose to swap uh, my uh, warrior deck for a uh, for a daggers deck and I managed to stay alive and, uh, and, and fight back I was controlling the board, but then something happened, and my opponent's board uh, was filled with stuff. And the ice storm was nowhere to be seen. Guess what happened with the ice storm? I drew the ice storm, actually two instances of, the, of them, exactly on my last two runes. Unfortunately, that was the round where uh, lethal happened. So. I got uh, my last two runes uh, broken and then I died with Ice Storm drawn and uh, dead. <laughs> I wanted to to be angry, but uh, it's a card game. Happens most of the times, yeah, but it happens. And on our next turn, the Hafinger Marauder is coming. Preserver of the Root and Lightning Bolt. Wow. Our opponent actually managed to, to keep us away from face for a long, long time. However, no more Hafinger Marauder. We're going to use a light of the three, and unfortunately, we'll have to sacrifice our house, uh, our Ulfric house car. So, no more light of the three. Let's go with the East Marsh Crusader. Hoping that in the next turn I'll be able to get the pit line somewhere around there. Not a god. The 
Okay. So we're going to go with the Burma Prophet here in the Shadow Lane. Followed by Light of the Three. Just to keep our Rift Thane alive. We can leave this Marsh Crusader there. If he does not trade, maybe we can get a Crusader's Assault. So we're going into the not so good part of the game, for us at least. Well, he traded, that's great. Divine Fervor. Ooh, we're, and we can also go with Halfing a Marauder. So we're going to trade in our Light of the Three. That's, we'll make it 5-5 five, five, and then it will be at 5-1. We don't care about the elusive schema. Having a Marauder. And we're going to break how many runes? 14. Um, all the runes? Yep, we're going to break all the runes. So that's two items. And that's one item. <laughs> oh, Burma Prophecy is getting ward. Lightning Bolt. Oh, and because we have the hammer on the Rift Thane, he's practically doomed. We've got 20 damage. Why didn't he use... Oh, because it didn't matter anyway. So Sorcerer's Negation on the Rift Thane would have done nothing because, uh, except if he would have managed to summon some guards in, in the Shadow Lane. Rift Thane currently has 20 damage and breakthrough. It actually does not matter because he did not uh, silence it. It's an end game. And we won! That's three games. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, it's a great deck. Let's uh, take a quick look at it. Token McToken face. <laughs> so as I've said, I've removed... Um, Something that was not uh, relevant and filled it with great, great cards. We've got Scouting Patrol helps us in uh, either boosting them with uh, Fifth Legion Trainer or uh, using the Pit Line. We've got Brahma Profiteer, Crassius Favor, Fifth Legion Trainer in Prison, Priest of the Eight, Rift Thane, Conjurer Spirit. This is excellent uh, to, to get it early on to the field and whenever you have Crassius Saver and uh, Brahma Profiteer, you'll just basically be spamming the, the, the board with um, tokens. And that's where, that's where, 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 Resolute Ally comes into play, because it gives other friendly creatures in this lane plus on plus one, if the top deck, uh, top card of your deck is a, uh, um, a willpower card. As you can see, all of our cards are willpower. That's uh, that's 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 how this deck revolves around the fact that, uh, like the 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 Red Army Warrior, all the deck, the, all the cards uh, had um, strength. So the the boost is real. Light of the three in mid to late game, it just boosts the hell out of everything that's in a lane. And Dawnbreaker is extremely good against um, against uh, undead guards. So as a draw mechanic, we're putting our faith into Priest of the Eight and Ulfric Housecarl. And whenever we start breaking runes, East March Crusader. The Hafinger Marauder is a good addition 
uh, we've got three copies of it, uh, along with Divine Feather. Uh, why? Because I feel that at some points into the game, we actually need it in order to, uh, to, to make a difference. Because if you look overall at the, the card value, they have, uh, they have potential, but uh, come on, it's, it's just uh, one, one tokens or two, two tokens. The only way to boost them is with uh, the ally, uh, Divine Fever and, and or having a Marauder. Fifth Legion Trainer is, is also useful. Um, but there are times when uh, you lack the Fifth Legion Trainer. And you need a way to boost even the slightest. Either to force your opponent into into attacking a specific creature. Or to just uh, go hit face and uh, take the match home. So that's, uh, that's the deck. Uh, see you around. Have fun on the ladder. Uh, and cheers.